am finally back with another video. I thought a nice way to get back into it would be to do something that's very core to my channel, which is a beauty video. Um, and I've been recently using a heap of like Korean skincare and makeup products that I would love to share with you all. There is this very full box today of products. I think this video does very much tie in uh, with my recent startup Keo box, which we are now pivoting to more of an Asian Korean beauty uh, and skincare subscription box. I definitely want to try do one of these every month just to display the new products that I've tried out as well as let you know what's in the next Keo box. So that link is going to be in the description below. We're starting pre-sales in end of July and it'll be an August box coming out um, at only $25. So really exciting. First product that I want to share with you today is lip tints. So obviously Korea and Asia is very big on its lip tints, um, especially with that tinted natural look rather than having the full-fledged lipstick effect on. Uh, so the two that I have today are the Etude House Dear Darling Lip Tint and I absolutely love this product because it smells like strawberries and it's very vivid and stays on for a really long time. But what I recently got was this Tony Moly uh, Tony Tint Delight. It comes in like this really fat little tube and I think it looks really cute. It smells like cherry strawberries. Give it a go. Okay, so I've returned after applying the lip tint. The thing is, when you put it on and it dries, then it's staying there. So when I put it on on camera, I wasn't even looking in the mirror. So I kind of like applied it really messily and then it just stayed and I could not smudge it at all. So I guess that's a really good sign of the product itself and that it's so long lasting. So the next product is this Luminous Goddess Aura Crystal Light Tony Moly. Um, it's kind of like a highlighter cream. And this is actually going in the next Keo box, so keep your eyes peeled out for this product. I tried it just before and it is amazing because it's a great um, liquid highlighter. So if I just uh, give myself a little swatch on my hand, this is what it looks like over here. And you just like have to spread it out. product gives us a really pearly sheen. I think it's absolutely beautiful and definitely one of the highlights of the box. Ah, see what I did there? <laughs> Next are a ton of skincare products. So I guess this is where I start washing off all that makeup I literally just put on, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, I'll take you with me to the bathroom. Now that I'm in the bathroom, the first product that I want to show you guys is the Eliza Vicka Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. And this is probably one of the most famous Korean beauty products in my opinion, um, because you see it so much in YouTube videos and blog posts and everyone's trying out the Bubble Clay Mask. So I finally decided that I would also give it a go and see how it works for me. Um, I think this also does dry out your skin quite a bit, so you wouldn't want to do it every day but it's, uh, it's really good for cleaning up the skin and making sure that there's no dirt left in there and yeah, and, and it's just fun because it's like bubbling on your face. It looks like all liquidy and stuff, but once you like put your finger in it, it's all stuck together um, and you have to really peel it off. So I'm just gonna take a little bit off. Basically, it looks like this gross, goopy stuff. <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply it. Sorry, I have to look at the viewfinder for this. After you've applied it, you just leave it and it starts bubbling up on your face. And you, I guess you leave it for about two to three minutes until it's fully turned into like bubbles. And then you'd go and rinse it off with some warm water. So this is what it looks like after I've washed it off my skin. And my skin definitely feels a lot drier, but more refreshed and clean. So it does the job. What I'm gonna do next is just remove the rest of my makeup. I think it was really effective because I had a full face of makeup on before. All I had to do was apply that clay mask, bubbled up on my face. I didn't even apply it on my eye area or anything, but when I rinsed it off my face, my makeup just came off like that. 
and then all I had to do was use one um, makeup wipe to get the rest of it off. So the next item that I decided to buy online was the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. So I don't tend to use these two together just because like once you dry out your skin, this is an exfoliator and it's going to dry out your skin even more. Um, but I will do it today for once. This is another like holy grail product in the K-beauty community. I have read so much about it, so I was really curious to see how it worked. So once you open it, it smells really nice. It doesn't smell like sugar, it smells like citrus and lemon, um, so can't get enough of it. But it looks so disgusting in the tub. If you look at it, it's like very solid. So you yeah, legit have to like scrape it out. And then once again, just need to apply it to the face. And then ideally it says leave it there for about, I think it's a 10 to 15 minutes on the box. So what I'm gonna do is just leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off and come back to you guys to let you know how my skin is feeling. Yay, all done and washed off. And then usually what I'll do next is the next product in my box, which is just moisturizing and making sure my skin is um, replenished after all that cleansing and drying out. Okay, right now I'm using this Moistful Collagen Etude House kit. It's a kit of four samples, gives you the cream, uh, the emulsion, facial toner and essence. So I will tend to apply all of these after I wash my face or every morning and every evening just to make sure there's that elasticity maintained in the skin. In our next care box we are actually including this Moistful Collagen Moisturizer Cream Sample and that's because I found that this was such an awesome product. I even think just this little sample is enough to last you for like a month or so. It's got a lot of product in there and it's perfect for traveling as well. Once you start using products, um, you really get to maintain that youthful quality of the skin, which is so important now that I'm getting older. But yeah, I think it's really important to start from an early age and just take care of your skin your whole life because you can't just get it replaced. And we're done with the moisture. So let's head back to my original filming position and then I can show you the rest of the products. Now that we're back in my room and there's less echo around, it's time to show you my few final products. The next product that I wanted to show you guys in the Korean skincare world um, were these lip gel patches. So I've got one from Etude House and also one from Skin Food, which is the pomegranate collagen lip mask. This one is going to be included in our next care box, so look out for that because that's going to be super exciting. And I love to use these because once you apply them, they look so funny. It feels really nice as well. The texture of it is like very jelly-like. While we are on the topic of lips, I also wanted to introduce you to the Tony Moly Peach Lip Balm. I'm sure you might have all seen these before. If you are my age and when you were in high school, you were like a total weeb and like obsessed with morning glory. Um, then you definitely would know about these because every time I went to Morning Glory I would look in the beauty products area and it would always be like the little lip balm and then the big peach hand cream and they both smelt so good like I always wanted one but for some reason I just never like had the money to buy it so I finally got this uh, Tony Moly peach lip balm and it's perfect for the winter time for moisturizing your lips and making sure that they aren't so chapped Oh, smells just as good as I remember it and the product actually sits in there like that so what you'll do is um, just with a finger and then apply like this I like that it is such a compact product because that means I can just carry it in my bag everywhere I go and make sure it's always on me the next product that I wanted to focus on was the Gold Raccoonie Hydrogel Iron Spot Patch. So it looks like this and it's so cute because it has this little cartoon raccoon on the packaging. And it's from the brand Secret Key. So I was actually just scrolling online and I found a bunch of like masks and um, just spot patches. And I think this is a really good solution because it gives you about 60 patches um, that are held in this container so you can use them anytime when your eyes are feeling dry and 
they don't run out that easily which is really great for me but basically it looks like this they've got two eye patches and also random spot patches in the middle so I'm just going to put two on right now because they are very good for hydrating the eyes once you've got an eye patch I just apply it like this I do like these a lot because they are very cooling on the eyes so if your eyes are feeling like really strained or tired and dry then it's great to just apply them under the eye and they'll get rid of your puffy eye bags and just leave you feeling a lot more awake as well. The last product that I wanted to share with you guys today was of course, who could forget, sheet masks. So right now I have the Real Nature Green Tea sheet mask um, and this is from the, uh, the Face Shop. And then I also have this Cynic Intense Mask Sheet. So sheet masks are always an easy and also fun way to just insert some moisture, serums, essence into your skin. We are going to be including a couple of these in the KO box as well. And it is from the Medi Heal brand. So we've tried it, we know it's really amazing quality and just want to share it with all of you guys. So those were all the Asian skincare and beauty products that I wanted to share with you this month. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and didn't get too turned off by my no makeup face for the latter half of the video. And next time I will definitely start looking into more like Chinese products as well as Japanese products hopefully. So um, until next time, I will see you again soon. Smiling every day with Hayley. So for the next three days, I'm actually going to be filming my Microsoft Ultimate Experience because my team and I actually made it through to finals. Yay! So we're in the Pullman Hotel for the next two nights, um, and we'll be doing our pictures tomorrow. So let's go! This is my team. <laughs>